we're putting together some very, very uh, realistic types of simulators, um, very different from the sort of things that Origin has done in the past, uh, very similar to the kinds of stuff I've done in the past. Um, and we were concerned about how we were going to get that message across to the public. And by tying in with Jane's, the, the, the message was a natural. Um, everybody who, who understands um, uh, military uh, aviation and military combat knows the word Jane's, knows what it means. Uh, it stands for authenticity. It stands for realism. Uh, these were the same messages we were trying to get across with in the product. Um, and so it was a natural for us to, uh, to, to link that up and get that message out. Uh, we're, we're all very excited about it, obviously. You know, we, we're known as a traditional international publisher, so to get involved in the gaming industry it has to be exciting to all of us, and especially our editors are excited that they can apply the material that they use in something for a professional audience at a very high price that probably isn't available to the common person on the street just because of price limitations. Um, we just think it's, it's a great way to get the Jane's name out there, and we think we're the leader in our field, and Electronic Arts is the leader in, in the gaming field, and we think it's a perfect marriage. What we found when we were working on our, our most recent product, ATF, was that uh, there were, when, when we contacted Jane's and tried to get information from them, we'd ask about a specific aircraft, uh, the X-29 or the X-31 or something like that. We got back reams of information about the aircraft. Jane's, when they're putting a book together, has to find one set of information that they can, they can provide for every aircraft. And if they've got extra information, they're not going to include it because it isn't the same. It isn't the same format, et cetera, as, as all of the other aircraft. So basically what we got was tons of information on the kinds of things we were interested in. We can use anything that Jane's has uh, in our scenarios, in our actual aircraft, our cockpits. They have uh, access to some of the, the best military research analysts uh, in the civilian market. Um, so we get to include everything from top to bottom, left to right, everywhere. One of the things we're working on now with Origin and EA is making our exper experts available, editors and journalists, to talk about future possible conflict scenarios in the world. Uh, sitting down and talking about these are the hot spots in the world and this, it, you know, this is a potential enemy uh, in the future for battle scenarios. It's not only the hardware we cover, but it's the geopolitical analysis and, and as we call it, flashpoints within several of our products. Um, Paul Grace's group up at San Mateo um, uh, does typically, particularly the, the, the projects that, that Brent Iverson is involved with, uh, are what I kind of call survey projects, where they'll have multiple aircraft that, that a player can fly, and that lets the player contrast the different uh, flight models of the vehicles and, and, um, and the different kinds of uh, employments where this aircraft might be the better one or that aircraft might be better for this particular mission. Um, it lets the player see those kinds of things. Uh, the kinds of products I've always liked to do have been ones that I call focus products. Um, ones where you take a particular aircraft, you focus in on everything it does well, down to the last nut and bolt. Um, in particular, it requires generally having operator manuals for the real aircraft and talking uh, heavily and consulting with uh, the real pilots of those aircraft in order to make sure that you get every nuance in the thing. They're also working even closer with the Janes folks uh, than, than, we've ha than we've been able to uh, with our first couple of products. Um, they're working closely with the uh, Janes analysts and editors, um, having them uh, do scenario design, hotspot analysis um, for us. Uh, these are the experts. These people know this stuff. They do it for a living. Um, far be it for us to try to second guess you know, what, what, what Janes is coming up with as far as scenarios and all. Um, so that's very, very exciting. Everything the Baltimore guys are doing um, is, is, is next generation uh, and will definitely set the whole uh, traditional sim market on its ear when their first product comes out. Not only coming up with new, um, um, new features or new, uh, new things that people haven't done before, but really improving upon a lot of things that have been done in the past by other people, but they just really touched on them. They really didn't do a good job of, say, um, communications with um, other other planes on the battlefield, working with AWACS and Joint Stars and uh, working with other aspects of the electronic warfare system that exists in a modern air uh, combat arena. Um, a lot of games kind of, they just ignore that um, and they don't realize how important that is, they, but they touch upon it. And we're going to take a lot of things one step further. Um, so kind of revisit uh, a lot of games and say, hey, they did a great job with this, but if they had taken it one step further, this would have been really great. 
I'm currently working on a very interesting submarine game um, with a defense contractor and Jane's on that. And that's going to be that's going to be a study, not a, not a survey product. We're going to be studying one submarine, um, but the amount of information we've been able to get, technically accurate, uh, is is just going to be phenomenal.